Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. How can I tell if my popcorn ceiling has asbestos? You can test a popcorn ceiling for the presence of asbestos by carefully scraping a small sample into a plastic bag and having it tested at an EPA-accredited lab. While homeowners are allowed to remove a popcorn ceiling that contains the material, a professional asbestos remediation company should do the job. What years was asbestos used in popcorn ceilings? Asbestos popcorn ceilings were popular between 1945 and the 1990s. Asbestos was officially banned from ceiling coverings in 1973. However, previously manufactured asbestos-containing products may have been installed in homes into the 1990s. Was asbestos used in popcorn ceilings in 1986? The application of sprayed-on coatings containing asbestos was banned in 1978, but a lot of popcorn ceilings installed as late as 1986 contained asbestos in the mixture. It's possible that your ceiling contains an asbestos level of 3 to 8 percent. What happens if you remove popcorn ceiling with asbestos? If you remove the ceiling dry, you will contaminate your home with asbestos and expose yourself and your family to potentially high concentrations of airborne asbestos fibers. These fibers may remain in your home indefinitely. It is recommended that three workers perform the job. Is popcorn ceiling toxic? If you do have popcorn ceiling asbestos and the fibers are released, you may inhale those fibers, which increases your risk of developing serious diseases such as lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. 